This was yesterday. Cole, you made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. They made us change the suit. I got. I'm gonna put back my Chicago Lightning suit because I want to go out in style here. We're at Dr. Fontaine's office. Interesting stuff. Oh, there's some stuff over here we can check. I don't think this is going to help us. Just some medicine, I'm guessing? What's over here? Oh! The Sorrents! The Morphine! Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. Wow, so he kept the morphine here in the in a storage closet looking metal thing. I don't even know. Alright, let's go into the room. Take your time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. That's what I'm gonna do. Definitely gonna be censored too, so. Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. Well, we did saw from the last episode, in case if you missed the last episode. If you missed that last episode, you already know. What does he have in his hand? Press X to investigate further. A lighter. Interesting. Here's the object he used to hit Elsa with in that last episode. So much for your foresight, Doctor. The crystal ball, which he used to hit Elsa with. I did saw a newspaper over here. I'm gonna check that newspaper. The last one, the last one in this game, it looks like. The Face of Progress says. Mayor of Deloper, Leland Monroe. Property Tycoon has a 10-year plan for the city of L.A. Monroe is humbled by words of praise. All right, let's check it. That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. You know how much these sons of charge for lunch? Fuck them. Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform me. I thought I could take care of it. Have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Bence. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. It's no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jack Kelso. So they met for dinner to try to get rid of their the people that was around them. Wow. That is indeed the last the last newspaper. What do we got here? Good doctor has been marking this map. Oh, it's one of these pencil drawings. We haven't done this in a while. On a long while, actually. So what do we got? Looks like some kind of railroads, if I wanna say. I don't know. Something else over here. That's it. 
Edgewood Grove, McCarthy Vista, Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? Huh. I wonder what it is, and we we pull something from here. This doesn't give us nothing. There's a newspaper right next to us. Let's check this out. New houses all being built in the path of the freeway? Freeway route. Wow, so they're building the new houses along a freeway highway. Why would they do that, though? That's interesting. I think that's all of it from there. Music is still playing. Oh, we got a folder here. Oh, here, here's Leland Monroe's um thing right here. Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. You can pause the video if you have to, if you want to read it. It's over here. Oh. Oh, these are the, the homeowners. Stephens is there. The Morellis and the Sawyers. Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. And the doctor lost control. He started to bring attention with the patient he was having. Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance, it's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing? Firewood, all of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? The doctor's dead. And Roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the firebug. The Oki cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. this rancho retcon we at this house at this ranch so we're gonna go knock on the door guess nobody's home oh so we're just gonna kick the door down <laughs> we're gonna kick the door so nobody's home what's over here oh it's a oh most guys bring home a 45 or an m1 this is pretty extreme Got a gold trophy at the process, but this is the flamethrower. Oh snap! So this is this is the actual killer that was burning the houses. Huh? Interesting. Let's check his bedroom. Wow, his bedroom is so run down. There's nothing over here, so there's no clues. There's another door over here, so we can check some stuff over here. Oh, there's something right here. Ah, it's just some cig cigarette bu box. Just one of those fake clues, man. One of those fake clues. Okay, so there's nothing in that room. Is there anything over here? Ink set sh insect spray. Ugh, couldn't even speak right there for a second. Anything over here? At the fireplace? No. Nothing over here by the fireplace. Let's go check over here. Can we open the fridge? Nope. Oh, there's a there's a gun right here. Their version of an AK-47. But it's not marked. So there's nothing to check on that. Anything at the bed? Nope. Anything over here? Nope. Not a newspaper, no, so nothing. Nothing over here that we can check? Nope. Alright. 
Let's check the kitchen. Oh! Or whatever this place is. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, it's one of those valves. He has one of those valves hanging around. Oh, look at what I'm seeing right now. Oh, we found it! The origami room. So this is our killer. That was burning these houses. I even made made a short of the creepiest cutscene. Just in case before I investigate that more. Is there sure nothing was over here? Nope. Okay. So no, nothing is over there. So we found the room. That's leaning out towards the back. What a flock you got here, kid. All right, let's check them out. A strange obsession. But I can't believe we finally found the 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 killer that was burning all these houses. The actual killer. The river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. And the killer has a a tunnel route system that goes into the LA tunnels. Wow, that's interesting. I saw a room over here. Anything over here? You got more of those mosquito killed looking repellents? I think that's our repellents. Oh man, this is his bathroom? Wow, so he was definitely a big time farmer. There's another origami on the floor. Another origami on the floor that he left it down here. Anything over here? No, that leads to the back of the house. Check over here. Investigate further. Oh, he actually had one of the Leland Monroe flyers that he was making into an origami. Man, he has so many origamis, he just made a lot of these. Anything over here? Nope. Anything over there? Nope. What about over here? Oh, the photographs. I know those faces. Jesus Christ, I know every one of them. Oh, that's the flamethrower guy from that cutscene. That's the flamethrower guy from that cutscene that we had a couple episodes ago. So he's the killer. So the the, the flamethrower guy is the killer. Oh my God, Ira! You poor backwards son of a. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the LA River Tunnel entrance, just north of the First Street Bridge, in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. This is DA's investigator, Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. KGPL calling car 11K, 11 King, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River Tunnel System with a hostage. 11K and I'll go that. three. The hell is Jack playing at? Like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso, described as a Navy Chevrolet Fleet Line. License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. They picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. I saw they changed back to the gray suit, so. 
That's Kelso's car. Oh, there goes Jack. We gotta go. We don't need sirens. We don't need the sirens from this one because we're helping Jack. All units, Chief Moral reports that the suspect is armed and extremely dangerous. Repeat, extremely dangerous. Suspect vehicle can be disabled immediately. If necessary, use of deadly force is authorized. Ooh. Oh, now we're getting shot at. Oh. They pushed me off the road right there. Oh, Jack just knocked that guy out. Wow, he just destroyed that car. We have a new suspect vehicle. It is shot number one three five one six. Repeating, shot one three five one six is a second suspect vehicle. Described as a green Hudson Commodore. License three Sam zero one zero two. Reported to be leading suspect Jack Kelso. Use caution. Oh, they already picked up our car. Now we're getting Jesus shot at. Huh. How many cops do these guys own? They own a lot, it looks like. A lot of dirty cops out here. Oh, he's going through the middle. Oh, he went through the middle. Oh my god, I almost went straight there, but he took took a left. Man, they own a lot of dirty cops out here. That's crazy. Is that the last of them though? I think so, because I think we're getting near the bridge now, it looks like. Oh yeah, we are. We're slowing down now. We're definitely slowing down. And we're here. Who is this guy? Peterson, assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here, here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover this spot here. I think that's his fail safe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. What are you talking about? I'm right where you are! Got it? Got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? And working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new broom, Peterson? Looks like it. And you think he'll make it out of there alive? I think he might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer? So we're gonna have to fight our way into these tunnels against these LAP corrupt the LAPD cops. Oh, there's one up, up ahead. I'm gonna take the first shot. Oh, yep. Oh god. I had to reload, so I took out one of them. Let's get that guy out. Oh my god, that guy ate so many bullets. He ate so many. But it doesn't matter. I'm pistol whipping. Oh, I got the headshot of, from long distance. I'm going forward. Peek it. Got him. I knew he was going to peek that, so I got him. But we need another gun if they have all these cops out here. This gun I like more. Because I know that longer one was attacking. Oh, snap! Oh, I got him. Man, I didn't even expect him to peek around that corner. But regardless, I got him. Do we go this way? Nope, that, that side is close. So we gotta go that way where he he was peeking. Don't want to pick up that weapon because this weapon's pretty much good for me. So, looks like we gotta go this way. Oh! The flamethrower guy is burning people up, up in front of us. So that's gated off. So we got to go this way to the left, it looks like. 
Oh, look at this water. This water is crazy. Oh, oh my god, the camera angle. Got that guy. Keep on going, Jack. Oh, there's another guy up right there. Got That's him. It. Out of ammo. All right, so I ran out of ammo from that gun. Pick up a new weapon. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a shoddy. Okay. So I definitely need that shoddy. We're fighting all these corrupt cops down here, man. This is crazy. Oh! Got him. He was just standing there. But I'm going to pick up this gun. Because I need that gun. That gun is better. Oh, this is a loot place. Oh, look at these. Oh, so these are the shoddies. That's a shoddy. What about this gun? What is this gun? I've never seen this gun. Ooh, this gun looks insane. I'm gonna take this gun, actually. I'm gonna take that long gun because that looks insane. I never used this gun. Oh, there's more coming down from this tunnel. Oh, got that guy. Did not get that one. Peek it again. Got him. Got him with the headshot. All right, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Damn, that guy got burned to a crisp. Wow, that the flamethrower guy is not playing around. He has a flamethrower with him, burning everyone to a crisp. Oh, there's guys over here. Using that corner. Oh, they're on the top. Oh. Flamethrower is moving quick. Got that guy. You think you can hold that guy? Oh, that guy is not dead. He got a second chance. Got that one. There was another one over that window. Got him. All right, nice. Wow, this flamethrower guy. Is... Your are dead. Head out, we step on it. This flamethrower guy is not playing around. He's not playing around. He's burning everyone to a crisp out here. So this looks like a dead end. Oh, you don't have to be rude to me, man. Running low. Oh, he's running low on this gun. Oh, so there's a stairway. The okay, here he is. He called him out. He called him out. Oh. Oh, I'm out. I could have got him, but I'm always already out. Hold up, hold up. There's a guy in the distance. Got him. Using these covers, my, my best friend. Okay, we got it. It looks like we got another ammo room up ahead of us. Oh, this is the, the tap gun. I need that long gun again. This gun is insane. Whoa. Oh, I'm picking up a flamethrower myself. Uh, I don't want the flamethrower. Is there a way I can get rid of this? I wanted that long gun. Now I want I want the long gun. Can I pick that up? For some reason I can't pick up another gun. Oh god, I should not pick this up. I should have not picked this up. Okay, we're gonna have to go with the flamethrower then. We're gonna start burning people alive. Oh, water is overflowing. The water's rising. Water is definitely rising. Oh god. I have a flamethrower and I can't you get can rid of it. Walk out of here, go out in the box. Your choice. Oh my god! I can't, I can't move forward. I'm going. Oh my god! Can I go faster than this? I know he's shooting at me, but I picked up the flamethrower by accident. Oh my god! This flamethrower is gonna get me killed. And I can't get rid of it. I can't get rid of this flamethrower. Oh god. Why am I not moving? I don't know. I don't know why I'm not moving, but I'm not moving now. I know I'm getting shot at. Oh yeah. I'm not picking up that flamethrower. I'm not picking that up again. So I'm definitely back to this where I was. But I'm not gonna pick up that flamethrower. That flamethrower got me killed. Oh, I got 
Alright, that guy. That guy got burned to a crisp. He's off. Got a headshot on that guy. Oh no, I took off his hat. Oh. Got him. And I probably got him almost. Alright, so I got him. Okay, so now I know the staircase is over here. I need this gun. This gun is you're surrounded literally my and your best friend. Are dead. Got that guy. I could have got the other guy. I'm gonna but I didn't. Got both of them over there. Alright, so I'm not picking up that flamethrower. I just need that ammo and then we're good. Give me that ammo. Okay, we're good. I'm not picking up that flamethrower because that flamethrower got me killed. So we're still with this gun. Nice. All right, water's rising. We gotta move quick. The water's rising. I know there's a guy on the left. Got him. Headshot. The headshot game is real out here. So let me reload real quick. Okay, we're good. Yeah, because I didn't meant to pick up that flamethrower. That flamethrower was not good with the water's rising over here. But regardless, we gotta move quick because this is water. I got the guy over there in the window. See. Up. Oh, yep, just doing something real quick. That was my fault. I was doing something real quick. Alright. Getting close to the ladder. And we're good. Okay, we got out of there. Oh, there's a guy running. I saw him. Got him. I saw that guy running, coming down that stairs. Oh, there's another one! Got him! You're not gonna fool me, baby! This gun is insane! This is a big gun- Oh my god! There's a guy in front of me! What? Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh my god! We can't jump that, so I think we gotta go this way, yep. We gotta go this way. My goodness. This gun is no joke. I'm not picking up any other gun. That's a close way out. That's another close way out. Almost out. Need a new weapon. Oh, he's almost out. So you know what? I gotta pick up this then. If he's almost out, then I gotta pick up that gun. Alright. Where do we go from here though? That's the thing. That's a dead end. That's another dead end. Not where we came from, I don't think. That's another dead end. That's where we came from. So I'm guessing it's over. Oh yeah, it's over there. I see it now. Okay, so we gotta go that way in that tunnel. Right here in this tunnel. Are you okay, princess? I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. Her. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And Naha? Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom! War's over, soldier! I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everybody knows it. Elsa! Are you alright? Get away from her! It's alright, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. Don't. No. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. But Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. 
Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Biggs will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now. For God's sake, Jack. What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps. Get your own hands dirty. I'm out of morphine. Help! Put these people out of their pain. Now, that's an order. Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Belt to an aid station. Weapon team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. He killed that man! He's doing him a favor, Elsa. Cole, up here! I'll get this great Hurry, hurry! The water is rising! You're first! Hand her up! Get out of here! You're not here! I'm not arguing! You're wounded, Jack! Let me help! What are you waiting for? Jump, Cole! Jump for it! Right. Ooh! Wow. gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Here, here. A war hero who led his men with true valor and through his personal bravery achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. Mine! You belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer who we'll recognized friend, the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued I was never to his fight enemy. the good fight. I think he knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. A good husband. A good father. And may I say, a good friend.
How about this for a headline? Guess which former Sixth Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the f***ing paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a Phelps, you didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge, wife and kids in tow, and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're going to have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. No, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petaloo and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat. Belts and medals and citations and parades the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the six have done. You go through with this and you'll be nothing to me. I just want to say real quick that I hope you guys enjoy this entire series, man. This was a crazy story the in the crazy gameplay series that I love seeing. This was a great story overall. Shout out to Rockstar for that, man, because this this game was cool. Even though it never got a, not cool, but great, fantastic. But even though it didn't get a sequel, it still was a fantastic story overall. And I enjoyed every minute of this series. But once again, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole series of L.A. Noir remastered and if you did hit the thumbs up like button if you enjoy subscribe for more gameplay videos it's your boy biggest and i'll see you guys next time